Former That 70s Show actor Danny Masterson has now been sentenced to serve 30 years to life in prison for R Word to Women. The show he was best known for starring on, That 70s Show, was airing at the time of his crimes in the early 2000s. At this time, Danny was also living at his longtime Los Angeles home he purchased in 1998, which we'll take a look at. Now it's goodbye to living in comfortable LA homes for Masterson and hello to a life behind bars. During his trial, prosecutors argued Danny Masterson 47 had relied on his status as a prominent Scientologist to avoid his accountability for his crimes. The victims were allowed to read impact statements in court ahead of his sentencing. Prominent former Scientologist and actress Leah Remini attended the most recent hearing and comforted the women before and after they delivered their statements. I wish I had reported him earlier to the police, one of the women said, according to the media, and another woman told Masterson, I forgive you, your sickness is no longer mine to bear. Masterson, well, he remained silent throughout the entire hearing. As the judge read his sentence, the maximum penalty allowed, his wife Bijou Phillips was seen in the court crying. Masterson was found guilty in May at a retrial after the first jury was unable to reach a verdict in 2022. This sentencing finally ended a years long battle to hold Danny responsible for his crimes. Prosecutors focused on how Danny used to seduce the women as well as how he isolated them at his home to make them feel more vulnerable. As you might imagine, the formerly popular actor hasn't appeared on TV quite a while and it's been rumored that he's been hiding out in the semi-remote town of San Inez with his wife. If you want to hear more about what happened behind Danny Masterson's walls, then keep watching. But I'll warn you, this story isn't for the faint of heart. Danny picked up his longtime Los Angeles home back in July of 1998 for just $560,000. Boasting a Spanish design with amazing views, vintage craft craftsmanship and a whole bunch of character. From its dramatic front door to its marble and gold leaf fireplace, this place was an architectural wonder. Danny would spend much of the next decade calling this place home, taking full advantage of the property's master suite with a retractable projection screen, large kitchen, as well as its multi-terrace yard with a pool and jacuzzi, turning the whole estate into something of a social hub. But that's not all he turned it into. According to a tipster who once spoke with Curbed Los Angeles back in 2007, Danny's house had a few other notable details as well. For one, nearly 25% of the art in the home was said to be drawings, photos, or sketches of himself. But the strangest and creepiest extra he had installed were 17 interior cameras planted club style in smoked glass orbs that monitored every room of his home. Danny could even watch the footage from the control grid in his master closet. So is it any wonder that according to his accusers, this became the scene of all three crimes he's been found guilty of? Danny's first accuser claims that she went to his house to pick up a pair of keys from him sometime around April 2003. Once she got there, she saw Danny was entertaining guests and decided to join in on the fun with some mutual friends. But about 20 minutes after she received a mixed drink from Masterson, her vision became blurry and the actor pushed her into the jacuzzi. Afterwards, Danny brought the woman upstairs and assaulted her by washing her off in the shower and putting her in his bed in the master suite. At that point, she was too weak to fight him off and he threatened her with a gun after she tried to pull away. Danny's second accuser claimed that she was also drugged and then assaulted by the actor in November 2001, five years into their relationship together. After angering Danny by yanking hard on his hair in an attempt to get him to leave her alone, a month later he attacked her while she was asleep in bed and unable to defend herself. The third accuser who would speak at Danny's trial told a very similar story. One night Danny demanded she come over to his house. When she arrived, he told her to remove her clothes and not wanting any possible violence to take place, she listened. After she was afraid to go to the authorities due to her membership in the Church of Scientology, the same faith that Danny is also a part of. The last of these incidents took place in 2003. Four years later, Danny would list this property for $1.59 million before eventually finding a buyer. Afterwards, Danny would distance himself from the scene of his former crimes by moving into a new home in the Hollywood Hills. 
Believe it or not, but in a strange twist of fate, the new home Danny Masterson moved into had nearly as shady a reputation as the one that he left. That's because Danny's new estate was previously owned by none other than Chuck Berry. Originally constructed in Los Angeles's quiet Bronson Canyon neighborhood back in 1923, Chuck Berry lived in this house for years, throughout both the 80s and the 90s, before a series of sexual harassment charges and assault allegations would hit the musical superstar. This eventually led him to selling the property in 2000 for only $570,000. Seven years later, the property was bought by Danny Masterson and his wife Bijou Phillips for much more than that, $3 million to be exact. Secured behind spiked gates and high hedges, not to mention some more greenery, Masterson sure likes his privacy as you can see. This circular estate spans two thirds of an acre. The property boasts a sprawling four bedroom, three bathroom, Spanish revival style main house with close to 4,600 square feet. It might have been built 100 years ago, but to this day the home still maintains much of its original architectural details, including a colonnaded front porch, a carved wood front door set into a pointed arch and well-preserved woodwork antique fireplaces as well as semicircular windows. Upstairs, the guest bedrooms are ample in size while the master suite includes a private sitting and dressing room as well as a sun-flooded bedroom with an updated vintage style bath. There's even access to a gigantic terrace here. Downstairs, each room flows from one living or entertainment space into another. For instance, the living room with its carved stone fireplace place also featured coffered ceilings, while the formal dining room is surrounded by glass doors and links to the gray eat-in kitchen through the butler's pantry. Outside, lush landscaping is surrounding serene gardens as well as a swimming pool and a tennis court. There's also a separate gated driveway that divides the main house from the detached garage that's been turned into a studio-style guest apartment with kitchenette, bath, and a soundproofed two-room recording studio. Pretty nice, right? Well, one once the accusations against Danny were brought to light, he'd lose an unrelated lawsuit against his mortgage holders, which left him on the hook for nearly $2 million owed on this property. That forced him to list the house for $7 million. The property was later taken off the market before being sold in 2021 for $6.2 million. Given Danny's lack of film and TV appearances over these past few years, not to mention his wife's as well, it seems that likely whatever profit they made on this sale would have had to last them a while. But with Danny's no doubt expensive legal fees after all of this, how much will Bijou be left with once Masterson is actually behind bars? Usually these house tours are pretty lighthearted, but not in this case. Now we know Danny Masterson's days of living in the lap of Hollywood luxury are clearly over, but before we go, answer this question for me. Knowing what you do about Danny, will you ever go back and watch old episodes of That 70s Show now? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure that you never miss an episode. My name is Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!